Hello and welcome to the Cannon County Chamber Connection and this will be our January edition and it's brought made possible by my DTC crew. And I'm Carolyn Motley and I'm with the Cannon County Chamber of Commerce. And I'm Connie Rigsby and I'm with the Chamber and also with the Senior Center here in town and so we've got some nice things, lots of guests today. We do, we have several, in fact we have a whole gang over here. <laughs> <laughs> to have a group of folks here to well, come visit us so we, we do have a lot a lot on our plate today and um, this is the time of year when uh, one one topic comes up a lot around my table is uh, Girl Scout cookies I don't know about you no not so much since really? I can't eat cookies <laughs> well I ordered well, some Connie I did my part you did I your part okay now I feel I better I did feel better <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it is a this this is when it happens. This is when it all is. the groundwork goes into place. It is, and we have a whole little group here today that are um, Girl Scouts, and I believe some of them are they all Scouts, or are some of them brownies? Yes. Or? yes. Well, we have uh, Daisies, uh, Brownies, and Junior Girl Scouts today, and uh, they they even go on to ambassadors and cadets uh, all the way through high school. But they start as early as kindergarten and then go through high school uh, with Girl Scouts. And I have to introduce the lady that's talking to you about this is Carla Bush. And girls, I want y'all to give your first name. Josie. She Four. said Anna. Anna. <laughs> Julie. Abby. And we are glad to have these girls here to represent Girl Scouts because it is Girl Scout cookie time. Mm -hmm. And we encourage you to um, purchase Girl Scouts now. They are taking orders <laughs> for cookies. <laughs> yes. My name is on that? there, I think, already. Yes. <laughs> oh, I think this is, a, this is a blank order form. And if you do not want to purchase uh, cookies for yourself or to give as a gift because they will come in about the time for Valentine's Day, we also have a cookie box donation option. So they can, uh, each service unit chooses to either give those to a local food bank or they can give those boxes to soldiers. So if you don't want to purchase uh, cookies for yourself or your family, we have a donation option. Did you know that? No, I did not. I did not know that. It's okay, I know. know. They, it they've been doing that for, for some time. But right now, uh, Girl Scouts are going door to door to family and friends. They can even, you can even purchase cookies online now to uh, get your favorites before January 17th. So <laughs> the good old days of what? <laughs> The door to door. The door to door. Yes. Well, now it's online. <laughs> right. Well, uh, they're they're learning computer skills doing that, selling online. But there's lots to uh, not, not just selling, raising funds for the uh, Girl Scout troops, but they they talk about setting goals and uh, decision making as to perhaps where they should go to sell cookies. Um, they learn money management. Even as young as this, they get a lot of practice with counting back change. Um, they learn about people skills, especially these older girls uh, learning about business ethics and how to present themselves when they're trying to sell a product uh, to their friends and neighbors. So the cookies that we have are, um, I think the girls want to tell you about, just tell them your favorite Girl Scout cookie. Which one's yours? Samoa's. Samoa's. That's that one. Small, that's my favorite too. If so. I could eat, that's what <laughs> <laughs> If I could eat them, that'd be the one. Thin mints. Thin mints. Thin mints. Thin mints. Well, I'm surprised. Right. Dosey dos. Dosey dos. That's a really well, that's good one. That's my husband's. Dosey dos are the peanut butter sandwich. What's cooking. your favorite? I like this. Those are the Samoas. My favorite is probably the trefoils. That, that's the shortbread one that's shaped like the Girl Scout but logo. But you could eat a whole sleeve and... Mm. <laughs> now no, I'm going No, no, no. <laughs> Another really popular one is the Savannah Smiles, which is a newer one. Um, it came out last year because Girl, Girl Scouts celebrated 100 years, and so it was founded in Savannah, Georgia, so they named that cookie after that. But... Um, Get so your orders what are the in. But what are the best selling ones? I know Thin Mints, Samoas, mm -hmm. and Tagalongs. Tagalongs and Dosi Dos too. I think. What I are the Tagalongs? Are they the? The Tagalongs are the uh, chocolate covered graham crack. Yes, peanut. Uh, they're chocolate covered peanut butter patty. Mm -hmm. mm. 
Oh, I think my stomach is growing. <laughs> it's all this talk about the food. Samples. I know we yeah. I asked earlier where the samples and mm -hmm. there's mm -hmm. no samples. No samples. Oh, no, they're not only, in yet, are they? Only till February. Yes, February is when the cookies come in, and that is when booth sales begin. So if you don't get your order in with a, from a Girl Scout, uh, you can look for those booths uh, on the weekends at local businesses. Throughout the Upper Cumberland, I'm sure there will be Girl Scouts everywhere, um, especially, you know, we would encourage you to purchase them in Cannon County, uh, but, you know, <laughs> uh, if you so don't want to make the trip, I'm sure they'll, there are Girl Scouts all over the Upper Cumberland. Is there a competition for the girls? Do they get, to get any prizes or do they do anything for um, selling cookies? Yes, they do. They set goals uh, mm -hmm. for their troop Ooh. and uh, they have incentives that they can earn. And a lot of the girls are all about the patch. So there are patches that you can earn um, depending on how many packages you sell. So 60 boxes, you get the 2013 um, patch to say that you participated in the cookie sales. And then if they do online, because that is optional to do online sales, they get a patch for that because they have to take a special online um, safety course before they sell products online. Right. So between now and February, when does the order go off for you to have them back? Before? Um, the girls have to have their orders in by February, uh, I'm sorry, by January 17th, and then the cookies will be delivered the second week of February, and then that is when booth sales will begin, the weekends uh, after February 10th. Oops. So, Because you will have the cookies at that time. Mm -hmm. Look for your local Girl Scouts. Yes, look for your local Girl Scouts. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you. You wanted to say anything? I've been telling people February 14th instead of January 16th. Oh, February 14th. We use Valentine's Day as a as a good marker. That, that would be they a will good be Valentine's Day. That would yes. be a good Valentine's Day. Right. Yes. Wrap that up. That's good. Mm -hmm. So thank you for letting us come and talk about well, Girl Scout you. Cookie Time. Is there yeah. anything else you would want to talk about as far as scouting? You do a lot of other things besides sell cookies, don't you? Oh, mm -hmm. yes. What's something that we're doing uh, next weekend? Do you remember go, the big trip? Just going to Savannah, Georgia. Oh, well, during yeah. spring break, they're going to go to Savannah, Georgia. Oh, Down what? to the oh, uh, home side of this, yes. Girl Scouts. The right, right. Circus? Yes, we're going to the circus. That's what I was trying uh, to hint. Yes. Like that. <laughs> We're going to go see the circus in January, and then spring break, we do have a group. Um, headed down to Georgia to, to visit the birthplace of Girl Scouts. That so, all right. Mm -hmm. That works. Well, good luck, girls, on your selling of cookies. I know y'all are going to do well. You just smile, you know. Yes. People can't, you know, smile. <laughs> I'm afraid really. this one might not. She's <laughs> not going to smile for She it. is not as shy as you would let you, she would let you believe. <laughs> she just That's the one that herself. always gets you. Right. She's a lot of fun. All of the, all of the girls really yeah, do have you, a lot of fun. She had a few tears. They might buy How many Girl Scouts yes. in Cannon County? Right There's there? about uh, 60 to 70. I okay. think we, we have about seven troops. And one of the biggest uh, county events that we have is World Thinking Day. And it is a, that's how kind of how we got started in Girl Scouts was each troop takes a different country and they take uh, food and uh, games and sports and they learn a lot about that country and then they present it to the other girls. I should let the girls talk to you about this. That might be another, 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 another show. Another show. Another show. Yes. Yes. Show. We'll just but uh, it, it's really a great that each troop learns about the country and they share it with the other and they have a little passport. So it's really neat. Well, Carla, really good event. you're you're also you have a different hat besides the mother of some Girl Scouts and <laughs> the Girl Scout leader. You are with uh, our family and consumer sciences with the extension. Yes. What is your I feel like title? I should have my name tag on for that now. Well, that's <laughs> right. all right. We, right. Can, we can change hats and nobody will ever know. <laughs> uh, but you, you have a lot of interesting things that take place in the community mm -hmm. uh, that you do that are helpful to, in all aspects, adults, children. Uh, what, in April, there's the walk across Tennessee? Yes, that's going to be a big event. And in May, you have the Cannonball Run. I believe that that is that with Youth Dream. Well, the Cannonball Run is part of the Cannon County. Oh, Good that's Days. Cannon mm -hmm. County. Yes. That's yes. right. I was and it, uh, of the our other. finale for the Walk Across Tennessee is in conjunction with the Cannonball Run 5K. Okay. So more so to come about that. It's right. been another yeah. one of the programs that they do. They uh, this is uh, living with chronic conditions. Right. Yeah. And so, if you have anything that you consider chronic condition, whether 
health related, uh, you can come. And Carla does a wonderful workshop, uh, and it's here at the Senior Center. Mm -hmm. And truly, it's open to anybody. Mm -hmm. And you just sign up for the program, and it's that begins in February, but it runs yes. for like six week session. Yes. And um, for you know, at no cost, but you learn a lot about how to live with the conditions. And it may not be you; it may be your somebody in your family right. that has You've got that. diabetes, heart oh, conditions. Mercy. All the things that change the whole dynamics of the family. Right. And so it's a very good program. So uh, I know they bring a lot of those programs to the plate. And let me mention that my partner is Lindsay Arfston from the Cannon County Health Department. So yeah. I could not offer that program without her partnership in that too. But that is a, it is a life-changing, informative program. And I've had so many people say it makes them think about, you know, the way that they're living now and things that they need to do to change uh, their management of their chronic condition because uh, it just, you know, it's like the light bulb effect. They, they need to, you know, make some changes in order to have a better lifestyle through, for the rest of their life. And also, okay, girls, which one of you is with the low fat express? We, we both are. are. Yes. <laughs> How come of I course. knew that? Yes. How come I knew that? So uh, if you, if we're, I have a beautiful visual of one pound of fat that I'm just gonna put out on the table and say, this is what a pound of fat could look like. I'm sure it's real and if, pretty. Yes, isn't it? yes, and motivating at the same time. Mm -hmm. So um, <laughs> when you look at that visual and you think, you know, if you're carrying extra pounds, uh, you know, along with you, then that, that could be what you need to get rid of in the new year. And I know a lot of people's new year's goal is to to manage that a little better this year. So the Low Fat Express is going to look at where fat is in our diet and healthy fats versus the unhealthy fats and how we can limit the fats that we have in our uh, the foods that we like to eat. So and you yes, have, that uh, starts this Thursday. 4-H babysitting classes. Yes, that's uh, this summer. Mm -hmm. That's right. And then you also have Girl Talk. Yes. And that's where you can all just sit around the table yes. and talk girl stuff. Yes. Yes. And maybe Girls some only. boy stuff get mixed in there, but there's no boys there. No, no boys. Uh, yes. Walk across Tennessee. Mm -hmm. That That's will be in the spring. Mm -hmm. And on my own. And I think this is some of the best. Uh, this is where you actually go out to the schools and give them a scenario of a family with kids and what yes. they have to do to be able to afford that, what mm -hmm. kind of job they have to have. And some of them don't fare too well, let me tell you. <laughs> right, right. A lot of circumstances involved in that. But you have a lot of good programs that that help students and adults alike mm -hmm. with yes. um, with their everyday life. Thank you, you. You have something to take to show new mothers how to feed and take care of their babies. And do we still do that? Yes. Yes, okay. we do. Um, so. Working for the University of Tennessee Extension, I am the Family and Consumer Sciences agent, which a lot of people would recognize as the home agent. So anything dealing with the home, whether it's uh, food safety, food preparation, food preservation, but also human development as far as parenting, child development. Um, we have housing and uh, money management, personal finance information. So really, all those home economic classes that mm -hmm. used to be mm -hmm. offered in high school that um, a lot of them have been taken out and uh, people, they I guess, assume they took them out because people would pass on that information uh, at home, but they're not anymore. So people are coming back to learn basic cooking skills, well, I'd say food they preservation. were taken out because of financial problems. Yes, that too, that too, that too, that too. But, uh, so I encourage, uh, we have family and community education clubs or homemakers clubs, they used to be called. And I encourage those members, and I encourage you, if you know how to cook, clean, those basic home economic skills, pass those on to your family, to your friends, or any other groups that you may be Lots involved Lots of with. things are dying arts. Yes. Cleaning's one of them. Yes. Hey, I am not kidding doing when I say cleaning. Yes, yes. So, right, doing the dishes. So. I think I'm only, I told my husband last night, I says, I think I'm only one of five women that steal iron. <laughs> you know, I, I don't, don't like you don't hear too many that iron anymore. Mm -hmm. And then I go up in the closet and he had changed clothes for something over the weekend and the shirt was just jammed in there on a hanger and not and the pants were put on a hanger that was hanging down to the 
And you just and you I, look and like I how much work you'd put into that. And I thought, I'm just going to come up here and throw them in the closet. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, but you of course, for the... I had to mention it to him, mm -hmm. of course. Mm -hmm. Of course, of course. He was you had to... very kind and said he would do better, but I've heard that before, so. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Go right for the juggler there. Yes. All right. But no, but girls, thank you for coming. We really do appreciate it. Good luck on your cookie good luck sales. on your thank sales. Thank you. Thank you very thank much for having you'll us. You'll have to come back and, and, and we'll have to see how well you did. Okay. We sure will. Thank you for thank having you. us. Bye, guys. Bye-bye. So, I don't know about you, Carolyn, but I'm kind of got that number thing circled on my calendar because I do love some Girl Scout cookies. I would like them if I could eat them. I have eaten them. I wasn't always diabetic, but um, now not so much. If I want a blood sugar of 600, that's a good way to start. <laughs> I did like the idea of where they could actually buy the cookies and have them donated, donated to the troops. I thought that was a that really was wonderful thing. Uh, the troops at my house will be my husband. And he probably <laughs> don't need a meat either. <laughs> Carolyn, you're just giving him a hard time. No, I'm not. That. He's sweetising me, but he don't need him. Okay. <laughs> sweetising me, but he don't need him. Well, uh, <laughs> we'll go from eating cookies right into Weight Watchers. Yeah, that's a good and thing. And so Jackie Pitts is here with us. Well, that's the uh, fall. And uh, I have to tell you, Jackie, I have been impressed with just with you well, thank the you. last thank year you. We, i have watched you walk and i have watched you lose weight thank and you. i'm assuming weight watchers has been a big part of it yes yes it is i thank told you. jackie i thought she was a walking testimony to this program well thank you thank i do because how much weight and i don't want to embarrass you jackie no, but I'm, I'm proud of you i'm, I'm sure <laughs> you are uh, i've lost 86 pounds uh, i joined weight watchers in 2008. Uh, the, I think they've, they've had several groups in Woodbury that have met through the years, mm -hmm. but this group that we've got going now actually started in 08, and we've been able to keep it going. Um, I joined in 08, lost 86 pounds uh, with, with the help of the program, and have been able to keep it off, uh, which is something I've never done before. <laughs> and it, you know, it's, it's, a, it's changing habits. It's changing your lifestyle. It's a continued lifestyle yes. change. It is. And what I really like about Weight Watchers is it's not a diet. It's just learning healthy eating habits, healthy lifestyle, and just you just got to change. You just got to realize, and that's what I approached it this time as I did it for my health. Mm -hmm. I wasn't doing it to get into a certain kind of clothes or, you know, I just Bikini did it for my health. I nothing. wasn't having any health <laughs> issues. I just didn't want to start having any. Right. And, uh, but it's a, it's a great program, um, and like I say, it's not a diet. It's just, you know, healthy eating habits. Uh, what makes this group a little different, they have Weight Watcher centers, like in Murfreesboro, you can go to the center. Uh, you go there, you pay a restoration fee, and you pay on a weekly basis. Mm -hmm. What we have here in Woodbury is the at-work group, they call it, and you join. They do it like in 10-week sessions. Okay. Uh, you do not have to wait and join at the beginning of the 10 weeks. You can come in the middle. You can start anytime. Uh, you would just, it would be, the rate would just be, you know, appropriated and you would just pay whatever was left for that session. Um, the big difference with the at work group is you come in and you, you have like, you pay for the 10 weeks in advance. And, but they will allow you to split that into two different payments. I meant to bring those figures with me and I forgot to do that, but you can call and we can get all that. Because if you're a new member, it's one. If you're, have, like if you're in the session now and you're gonna continue on, you know, you get a reduced price. And then if you're lifetime, but maybe not at goal, you know, it's a different, different thing. So they do a lot of things to encourage. The group we have that meets here is great. We have got a good support group and that's a big part of it, is having that support and I think that's what's helped me this time. Before, I would lose the weight. I think, oh, I got this, quit going. And then, you know, you don't have that support. You think you've got it all under control, and you don't. But you right. have a walking buddy, don't you? I do. Debbie I, Healy. I yes, see. Yes, yes, she's my walking buddy. And, you know, that, that's part of it. Yes, uh, Along it with the weight loss, it it's the exercise and the right. walking. Right, right. 
to add to that. And I, we, of course, we've built up to this. We walk uh, Monday through Friday, five miles a day, and and we had to work into that. You know, you, you know, so oh, many yeah. people. Oh yeah, start like, out oh, five miles a day. I can't do that. I don't, have, you know, and I couldn't either. Some of them might walk to the mailbox right. and back, and, and that's that great. You know, that's one thing we encourage: just move. You know, just whatever you're moving now, just move a little. You know, just and, and you'll be surprised at how quickly you can add that on and just different things you can do and that that's just a lot of the things you learn with our group is just little things like that that you can add on that really don't take a lot of effort. I have to say the people that I have seen that have and I'm not doing a commercial for them but that have been involved with Weight Watchers and taken it sick have shown results. Yes. But it's not something you do for a few weeks and then quit right. and go back because right. that doesn't work. Now my daughter has lost a considerable amount of weight and she did it online mm -hmm. because of her job. She yes. can't right. uh, fit, but she has done really well with it. Right. But sometimes uh, during holidays, she kind of falls off and she told me yesterday, she says, well, I'm, I'm getting back on it and she'll lose it again. And I don't recommend that, but what I'm saying is there's always that option right. that you can get back into right. it and do it. But she has shown results, and yes. I know several people that through Weight Watchers, you can see the difference. Right. Well, another thing with Weight Watchers is, the, is they teach you, and that, that's helped me too, you know, you use that word diet, and you automatically just think, okay, I'm not going to be able to have that cake, Even, or I'm yeah. not going to be able to have the Girl Scout cookies. Yeah. But <laughs> you can, those. you know, you, you just, just learn gotta, how to incorporate those and do it within moderation. And, you know, just even with the holidays, you know, I've been the same as your daughter. You know, you just, you just, you know, you, and you don't need to deprive yourself. You know, you need to be able to have that piece of cake or that cookie or whatever your, you know, whatever your favorite is. And, and, and that was one thing you got to realize, I don't have to do without those things. Mm -hmm. And that's another thing that if you're in this for a lifetime and want to try to keep it off, you've got to be able to do that. Yeah. You know, you can't just stick to this one kind of food all the time. And the whole concept of what goes in and what you've got to put back in, out. You know, working right. out or whatever, right. walking, right, whatever right. that is, to, right. to keep it off. So, right, right. But you are, you are in expression. Well, I come you. through thank in the you. morning. I see you there, and I'm thinking, how did she get here that early? <laughs> <laughs> well, I have a very loving and understanding husband that allows that, me that, to do that's, that. Too, that's so. very good. <laughs> Does you he have hang to up have his support. clothes nice after you fired him, Jack? I'll have to say he does a really good job. With that. <laughs> But I've trained him well. <laughs> trained him well. Well, I, I thought I had, but it is. Not. It is important to have a good support group, yes, and that's one thing is. that Weight Watchers offers it too. Is. And we're uh, getting near to starting a new session. Uh, it actually is gonna the new ten week session is actually gonna start uh, January. The, I believe it's the twenty fourth. We meet on every Thursday evening across the street over here at the UT Extension office down uh, down in the basement area. Mm -hmm. uh, we meet every Thursday evening. Uh, she starts weigh-ins about 4.45, and a lot of people say, well, I can't get there then. Well, that's okay. You don't have to be there at 4.45. It's just when she starts weighing in. Mm -hmm. We have folks come in after 5, but, you know, if she gets a break in the weigh-ins, she'll go on and start the meetings, and once we get them started, you know, they're, they last about 30 minutes. But the time just flies. I mean, it's just it's time to go, and you're like, it's got to go. <laughs> but what, one thing we're doing this time we haven't done before to encourage, you know, a lot of people like to come and kind of see what's going on and what it's like without feeling obligated. And uh, Thursday night, January the 17th, we're going to have our regular meeting, but it's also going to be an open house. Right. And it's just going to kind of, you know, you can just come and go. We'll all be there. You can ask questions. Uh, we're even going to have some light refreshments for people to enjoy and we're going to have some literature and if you're interested in joining you can ask questions and get all the information and then if you want to join you can actually fill your paperwork out and join that night and then we'll actually get started the next week the next week mm -hmm. and jackie um, i have to say you also wear another hat uh, you are the bookkeeper for Boyd's yes. Garage, and I your know. husband is the mechanic, right? That's right, <laughs> along with three or four others. <laughs> That's right. So, and they are a member of the chamber, Jackie. Boyd's Garage is a member of the chamber. In fact, uh, Jackie's been on the board. When I first came to work there, you were on the board for the chamber. So, um, you just added this to your schedule, didn't you? I did. <laughs> <laughs> I did. Yeah, it's, uh, we're very blessed. I think Woodbury is a great community. We, we've got a wonderful community, and, and uh, 
we've been able to make a living, you know, doing the Boyd's Garage. Um, it's a family owned and operated business. Uh, I, I think I looked today, Boyd's actually been mechanican for like 39 years now. <laughs> <laughs> but he loves it, that's his passion. And of course, we, you know, we've got some good employees that are, you know, we're all certified. And, um, we're located at uh, 3030 Gasway Road, which is about three miles out on Highway 53 North. Uh, he's always been there, same location. Um, but we just do any type of automotive repair. We don't do any body work, but just a mechanical Car automotive road. repair. Yeah. Um, like I say, I work in the office and do the book work, and he and I work together every day. And, and we, like I said, we've got a good group of employees and um, the latest, you know, diagnostic equipment, and that's that's getting tough. You know, yeah. our guy, Boyd and our guys all go through uh, all the, through the year. They go to training classes and stay up on all the. You know, cars are not as easy to fix. No. As they're they electronic. They're, they're, they're just are, are almost like a computer are. now. So. And you know, one thing that I'd like to encourage people to to do more is with the cars today. It's hard to guess what's wrong with it. <laughs> you know, you each have a car, and you could have the same symptoms but have a different solution to how to fix that. You know, what's wrong with it? Because there's so many sensors on a vehicle. And the best thing, you know, we, we have several that call in and you know, well, my car was doing this and I've put this part on and I've put this part on it. And I admire folks that tackle working on their own vehicle. I really do, because it's tough. But they wind up spending a lot of money mm -hmm. to fix something that wasn't and work. that wasn't the problem and, and, and it really I, I hate with the money the way it is you know this day and time you hate to see that but the key to it is is really getting it on the diagnostic equipment and finding out exactly what the problem is then you're spending your money to get the right thing fixed I have a new car and there's a light that comes on for everything yes <laughs> so I'm surprised yes. that anything that goes wrong with that car there isn't a light, and you're driving down the road trying to pay attention, and you hear this ding, ding, ding. I think, okay, it's what's falling up. apart? <laughs> <laughs> the door's open. Where's the light? Where's yes, the light? Yes. You know, so, but like I say, I have had them where the engine light would come on. Well, yes. that could mean right. anything. <laughs> right. And there for a while, I had a Volkswagen, the engine light stayed on. I had everything on it fixed. It would go out for a while. And it's, so finally I thought, you know what, until it blows up, I'm driving this thing with that light on. And I did. It, it never did out. go out. I mean, it would go out for a little while, whatever I had fixed, and then it would come back on. So I just thought, okay, this is one of these cars that the engine light's just going to stay on. Sure. Well, something to remember. If it's red, if it's a red light that comes on, <laughs> stop. Stop. It's telling you this is something urgent. You don't need to drive anymore. Stop. If it's well, a I yellow light, which most of the engine red. lights are, it's just a caution, and it's saying, okay, something's going on. You need to get this checked out. You know, it may be something you need to get done quickly. It may not be. So, well, when I bought this car, the guy said, "What? Well, you know, he was telling me all this stuff that it did and everything else." And I thought, "Oh, don't they just make cars it?" run and drive, drive and don't I don't have to, to know all of this stuff. Well, I bet you get a lot of folks that'll call and say, my car is making this sound, and then they're, they're on the phone trying to, trying to make that sound. Yes. <laughs> and then for me to try to type that in the computer, <laughs> it's making this. And then you're, whatever. and I bet you Boyd goes, do that again. Yeah. Make that noise again. <laughs> Will you come out here and tell us how that goes again? <laughs> yes. We have a lot of fun. We, we really well, I do. think I've done that. Well, I think what's amazing about this whole story is that you and him have worked together for 39 years. <laughs> Killing I mean, each other. Besides being good. married, to actually right. work That's together. Right. That's right. And you're still talking to each That's other. Right. Well, we have several people ask us how we can do that, but we really do. We really work great together. We just, I, I can't, I've worked at a bank. I mean, I've worked other places. He hasn't. Yeah. This is all he's ever done. But uh, we just, Click, I guess. It just, well, all right. That's and we good. just look That's forward to it. That's right. That's right. That's yeah. right. <laughs> but no, we uh, we do all alignments, tires. We have people still call. You know, I didn't know you. We do. We do not stock the tires, but we can get tires, uh, alignments, tires. You know, batteries, any type of automotive, anything under the hood, underneath, just anything but the bodywork. And we have places that you and can we get have, that. That's right. There's, we've got several good places in town for that. Yes, we do. Well, Jackie, this this you've 
you've brought a lot of information. I know the Weight Watchers program will go well. Yes. And yes. so if you're interested, now, uh, can they call the Extension Office, or is there somewhere if they want more questions? They, well, we're actually on Facebook. Uh, I think it's Weight Watchers in Woodbury, Tennessee, is how it's actually listed on Facebook. Uh, okay. We post stuff on there. Um, you're welcome to call me at Boyd's Garage. I'll be glad to answer any questions you have. Um, I don't know that anyone at Extension Office would have a lot of the information. Of the information. Okay. Uh, if You're you, just you, you can the call there, they could probably give you my number. Mm -hmm. um, but like I said, we're um, every Thursday night. Um, now the, the big thing with the at work group, we are required to have a minimum of 15 to join. 15 paying people to join us. If you're lifetime and you're still at your goal, you can go as much as you want, but you don't have to pay. So that's another little goal, you know, at the end of the thing is, oh, I can do this and I can still go and not have to pay. So we don't count in that number. So we, you know, we consistent, we gotta have at least 15 to keep this group going. And it's just, we really hate to lose our little Woodbury group because it's just, our leader's out of Murfreesboro. She does a fantastic job, Marie, and, uh, it does require well a if you're time. serious about losing weight and and you want to see a difference yes if you go to just give weight watchers a try yes. if you don't see a difference it's because you're not doing what you're supposed <laughs> to do <laughs> <laughs> well i look at it like this it's worth trying it, it if is. nothing else for 10 weeks it'll it, give it you is. a good feel for what it is and most people that do give it a good honest shot mm -hmm. really can tell see a difference, difference. We've, had, we've got a, a new member now. She actually joined before the holidays. And she has lost, I think it's like 20 pounds. And she did See, that that's for the holidays. holidays. So it's, it's and that's a tough time. It's that doable. A tough time. Yes, it's very doable. You just you have to want to. Yes. <laughs> and you can. We'll encourage you. We're there for you. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jackie, thank you for coming on. Well, thank, and thank you, you for about having talking me. about a worthwhile uh, organization and also talking about your business because I think it's worthwhile too. I'm sure you do too. Yes, I do. I do. Come and see us. We'll be glad to take care of okay. All right. Well, All we right. thank you for coming. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh -huh. yeah. Well, Carolyn, I know that uh, for one of the things that uh, we, we've talked about here lately is just kind of getting 2013 started off, a lot of things, you know, I'm on the calendar, already getting on the calendar. Well, And so we encourage you, uh, especially if you're in Cannon County, to, to give Carolyn a call. If you've got something that's going on that's going to be on a regular schedule and you would like for us to know about it, she keeps a calendar, what's I it, do. your yearly calendar of events? Well, now my calendar of events, uh, well, if, if you have meetings and they're on a monthly basis or a weekly basis or whatever. Uh, if you'll call and let me that know that, we can put that on the website. Um, that's canontn.com. Uh, the other thing is, if you're having an event, like the good old days, it's a yearly event or whatever, if you will uh, call and let me know, I will put that on the calendar. Those are sent out to anyone that calls and requests information on that. And for that particular calendar of events, I get a lot of calls for that. I send out a lot of them. So if you're having an event, whether it be a horse show or a car show or whatever it would be, some type of a festival and you already have a date set for it, if you'll call and let me know, I'll make sure that it gets as much advertising as the chamber can give it, that we give anything. But uh, you have to let me know, and don't call a week before, because I really need to do this calendar as soon as I can. And so if, you, if I've already done it and printed it up, um, and then you call me a week before and say, oh, I want that put on that calendar, that's probably not gonna happen. So you, you need to let me know as soon as you can, if you know the date, and I know that there's a lot of things that come up that people have that they, they don't know this far ahead. But then there's some annual events that it's the same every year. It's around the same time and everything. And those are the ones that I really need to know right now. But I will tell you this, that after we partied a lot before Christmas. We, it was. It, was a, it seems like every and time somebody we did something. let the air out of my balloon because yesterday I'm trying to go around and clean up everything I put out. 
you know, <laughs> I decorated over at the party store. I didn't realize how much I took over there. And of course, I had the village at the Lions Club. I took it down last week. And I thought, surely there's nothing else that I put up anywhere. And then Daryl Fisher called me and said, well, you need to pick up your wreath. Wreath <laughs> from the, the contest. I know, but there was a lot, a lot of that, and a lot of folks are kind of getting that uh, all taken care of and put back away. But January is a good month for them to kind of look at what they're doing for the year, get with you in January, and get it That's ready right. to go. So definitely right. want you to do that. We have another guest, and he was on with us before Christmas. Um, he's still doing well. And right now, everybody needs a car cleaned up. I don't care who you are. <laughs> That's been bad. Mine looks bad. Um, Mr. Hurd, Harold Hurd, and you have Woodbury Detail Shop. Yes, ma'am, I have Woodbury Detail, and, and we did real well last year, and we're looking forward to another year. And uh, we are still doing cars there, and we are have some coupons that we are getting ready. Well, we run them in the paper for one month last year, but we're having coupons that's coming out in the paper for a $2.50 discount on a uh, washing bag. Now, we do do everything to your car. We do the carpets, we do the seats, we do the windows, we do the doors, we do the dash. We do everything to your car. And a lot of people are beginning to come in and they are getting it done for the wife, like we got Valentine's Day coming up. A lot of people are trying to get, get their wife's idea. car coming in and getting it done. And a lot of people, a lot of men are surprising their wife. They're driving their car and they're dropping it off to us, and they're getting it cleaned up as as, as a gift to them. So we like that gift. I would too. <laughs> they've been, they've been doing that, and we we've, we've really are uh, looking forward to this year, and we want you to come out because. We can do a good job to your car. And, and you do, do steam cleaning on the seats, yes, too, don't you? you have an, and the carpet. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. We do the if steam. If you need that. Some people may not need that. May not need that. And we have those packages there. And like I said, we will have a coupon that's coming out in the paper once a month. It's a uh, $2.50. And all you have to do is cut it out of the paper and bring it in, and we will honor it for your for the cleaning. That's right, and you can go from just a vacuum and a wash to a full detail. Yes, ma'am. We can go right. from a vacuum and wash to a full detail. That's waxing and, and that's doing you under your fender wheels, that's doing your door jam, that's doing your windows, that's waxing it, cleaning your motor, steam cleaning your carpet, steam cleaning your seats, doing the windows inside and outside, and we can do it all there. And you know, it's getting, well, it does. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but you know, it, it's getting to be, believe this or not, it won't be long before you start having car show time. And uh, we have a lot of people in Cannon County that have yeah, we uh, show cars. We, we have a lot of them. And I know some of them stopped by there last year and got their car de uh, done. And now, they don't, these people that own these cars just don't take them everywhere. No, ma'am, they don't. They don't take <laughs> in fact, a lot of times they don't take them anywhere because <laughs> they're going to do it themselves. But. Um, but, but I did see some down there, so. Yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am. We, we, uh, we're getting, the business is, is really growing and the neighborhood is, is really accepting the business and we're trying to give them the best job that we can give them. And we're looking forward to expanding a little bit. I was we, gonna say, you talked to me about some yeah, expansion We're looking forward to expanding day. and putting a bigger, bigger building there and to increase it and uh, so that we can Handle the neighborhood. The neighborhood. Do more than one. Huh? Do more than one at one time. Yeah, that would be good. Yeah. But, uh, and we, that means employing more people. Yes, ma'am. Which is good. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> yes, ma Maybe not to you, but really it is yes, for the economy. It is. Yes, that's that's really what we started out to just create jobs. That's what we really started out at doing, and it it has really grown a little bit. And it? we're still going today. We have a couple of that a day that we're doing right now, and so. We're getting it done and getting all the, as much done as possible. With and that's between rainstorms. Yes. Yes. <laughs> we we really would, uh, the rain as, uh, we've had a good year. We've had a good year as fourth weather. We've had a lot of rain, but we've really had a good year for the shop there. And uh, we're looking forward to another good year in Woodbury and to continue. Well, we on. hope so too. <laughs> and, you know, we just want to keep it, keep it going and keep people coming and keep them happy. And if you're not happy, bring it back because we will get it straight now. If it's anything that needs to be done and it's you don't feel that it's done right, you just bring it back and we will certainly get it done right. 
And now, how can you beat that? <laughs> what kind of a warning? do you have? What kind do they give to them? Well, well, we thank you very much for coming on, and we hope your business does do well. And I think the idea of is great about a Valentine's present, and you may want to give your husband one of them. <laughs> Yeah, it does go both Take ways. It. Yeah, it does. It does. Yeah. does. And the coupons, look for the coupons. You'll be seeing those. Clip them out and take them down. Take them to bring them to us. And yeah. you, do you, you have a phone number that people could call because you will also go out and pick up their automobile. Yes, yeah. ma'am, we will. If you're in town here, we'll, if, we'll come and pick it up at, and at work and bring it back to you. And, and what's your number down there? My number is area code 615-617-9697. Good. Well, that works for me. <laughs> and we appreciate you coming on the All show right. today. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, I know that that, uh, that'll put some people to thinking. Maybe put that on their list of things and start looking in the paper for that option. A coupon. Yeah, get that little discount off. That always helps. Yes, it does. Anything like that helps. I, and it does. I've, I've noticed myself watching for anything little like Any that. Any kind of like coupon. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, I know for uh, for you, you we, we talked about a lot of things that we did at the end of the year. We've got, uh, we're planning on a lot of things for 2013. Uh, we're already getting in some things on our calendar, and I know the chamber is uh, getting their, ready for their big event. Uh, we always, every year, we have elections and installment of officers and... You know, the, all the things that the chamber do to get yes. ready for the year. That's so. right. And we will be doing that. It seems like everything's going to happen on January 17th because that's the date of our annual chamber banquet. And it's going to be held at the Blue Porch restaurant that's connected with the Art Center uh, on John Bragg Highway. It's going to be a great menu. Uh, Wanda has just outdone herself, and she has really good food down there. It begins at 6.30 p.m. Uh, there will be an installation of the officers and of which Connie will be my treasurer this year. And we have uh, four new ones uh, going on. Uh, and of course, they will be inducted into it and serve for their three years. And one of those, or, oh, I'll tell you all of them, but Rachel Parker is one of them, and she's a local artist in Cannon County and does a great job. Uh, Cindy Pitts works for First National Bank. Mm -hmm. um, Wanda Thompson is the owner of the Blue Porch. And, of course, Gary Hancock is with DTC. <laughs> and uh, uh, Gary is not new to the chamber. He has been president. He's been vice president. He and he's position. been a board member before. <laughs> But we gave him a break for a few years, and now he's back. He just can't leave us alone. That's just all there is Well, it's a big thing. To me, you know, as being a, a member of the chamber or a member uh, or serving as an officer is kind of giving back to your own community. I really kind of see it that is. is that because it's going to take all of us to uh, work Takes together. Takes a village. It does. <laughs> and, you know, not one business can do it by themselves. Nope. They do need a, a group of folks. And, uh, you know, the chamber is really looking into ideas and ways that we can make each other and each other's business and our community to grow. So uh, if you're interested in coming to that event, uh, I know there is a charge, but uh, you can get a hold of Carolyn, and she'll make sure you've got times, places, and everything. Uh, but we do encourage you to come out, out to there. that. And we are encouraging businesses that aren't members. Uh, if, they, if they would be interested in just coming and seeing uh, and meeting the people, and networking in a small community, well, in any community, is one of your biggest assets. If you can network your business, if you can find who else is in your community, that uh, if you can trade with each other, this is a great thing, you know, um, and you just need to know who else there because there's people that live in this town and do business in this town, and I met one of them yesterday, that do not know about other businesses in this town. Yeah, it's it's, it's amazing that that happens. But it one is. of the one of the networking uh, opportunities that we opened up for our chamber members last year was uh, breakfasts. A mixer. Yeah, we That's were doing right. breakfast mixers uh, a couple of different uh, times and places. I know we had one here. 
Uh, down we had the one at store. the old feed store, and I believe Blue the Porch. hospital may be, yes, the Blue Porch did the first one. Mm -hmm. We're going to do that on a quarterly basis. But it's a real yeah. good time for, uh, you know, we had folks from Motlow University right. that was there, folks from the hospital, and it was, I was sitting across from them and heard them talking about, you know, the, they didn't know each other, had a certain program, right. and so it's a good opportunity. You know, it's it's fairly free. You come and you're a member of, and just get to enjoy you the got information. To get great food. I mean, we do <laughs> a breakfast one because here we go. We're back at food again. But we do uh, a breakfast one because it seems like people can get there before work uh, rather than at noon or in the evening. You can never get just the right hour to do this. And if people go home, most likely they're not going to come back. So if you do it in the morning, the morning seems to be a good time. We had about 30, 40 this. folks at the mm -hmm. last one. We and did. It, it was a really good group. And so I encourage you to, uh, if you are a, a member of the chamber and you haven't come to one yet, come. Because I think you would get a lot out of it. And that's what the chamber is supposed to be doing, is opening up those opportunities to that's network exactly with each other. Right. And we do, and you know, surprisingly enough, here it is, the 8th of January, and we have some new people that have that joined the chamber already this year um, and and that always surprises me too because we have uh the guide which is a new publication uh that has come to be about events and everything and kevin halpern is the uh is working on that and he is an individual member as well as the guide as a business uh, has joined for this year. Uh, County Agent Bruce Steelman, Huff and Puff Trucking. Uh, of course, Gary Hancock has been with us uh, forever, so he's not new, and DTC has been with us forever. Huff and Puff Trucking is owned by Melody and Bruce Daniel, and uh, they will be a new member. And a lot of these people have supported the chamber in different events, but they've never actually joined. So I'm glad to see them come on board because it's, uh, like I say, it's, uh, you can do more as a group than you can do as one person. So um, if you've got a business and you might wanna see if the chamber proves to be uh, fruitful for you and your business, then you just need to come and see. So that. a couple of things, you know, I, anyways, I look at it as some of the things that we offer. There's the opportunity to be able to come here, and uh, DTC gives us that opportunity at that time to get out, get your word out to lots of folks. Uh, the mixers are great networking opportunities, and we've done some things in the past for economic development. We've had those folks come in and do some programs, and I'm sure this year we'll try to get those in. I, I guess the one we did last year where we had the actual departments from yes, our county good... come in and give the projects that they were working on, the completion dates, whether it be local tax money, state, federal, that was so informative, and that was one of the best ones we've ever put on. And, and it was amazing to me. We were sitting around a group of a group of folks and finding out, you know, how much grant funds that had come into the community to well build a bridge, build a building, mm -hmm. do different types of things. But there were some projects that, you know, even with us, we feel like we're on top of everything all the time. We didn't know, and so it's good oh, to have no. all those. I don't know that I have that feeling, Connie. I don't know where you're getting that feeling from. I don't know. I'd like to have that feeling, but you know, one of our biggest, uh, I have to look at our assets in the county, and we, one of them is the senior center because you, you are so active, and there's so many things that go on that, well, it's true. Well, we try. You're going to have a, you're going to have a, Trivia night, the 12th. We are, and that's, if you've never, have you come to the trivia night? I can't remember any dates or anything. I wouldn't be a good You partner. are a good, I, I will tell you, trivia night is one of our events. We, we started this, this is our third year, but it is really fun. And and somebody says, well, there'll just be a bunch of older people there. No, <laughs> I have my, we and have what's teams wrong with, that? with <laughs> all ages. Um, our team that won last year, uh, actually from Allen, well, based out of Alexander, but the majority of those folks that were on that team were from New York City. They had just come in 
for uh, to spend some time with family, and they said, "Heck, let's go up to the trivia game." And they won. They blew it out, and oh, they great. won the trivia game. Are they coming back? They are. They they called, you know, from New York, and said, "Hey, we're coming back down to see family. When <laughs> what week is the trivia night?" Uh, and now our year from number one, the Alexander team, they've already come in, bought their tickets. They're ready to get, you know, they only lost by two points. They've probably year. been studying all year, haven't they? No, and, it, and you never know what the topic's going to be. We, we my, even my husband and my team, uh, we had our daughter and some of her uh, friends that came. And we have so much fun. We laugh at each other because we don't know the answers. <laughs> well, then I ought to be a real uproar table. There and uh, we, we, we have anymore. all kinds of folks, but we encourage you to get a team. It's six people. <coughs> you call the center. Uh, actually, just come on out on that night on the 12th uh, here at the senior center, and uh, we will feed you barbecue dinner, snacks throughout the event. <laughs> And you there can we laugh at everybody. We got food again. <laughs> but it is. It's a fun night. And we we, we think it's fun. It's brain exercises. You need to keep your brain Well, active. I do. But I... <laughs> yeah, I do. And uh, I, I know that Carla Bush has been... Uh, Carla that was here, she works on uh, all of our questions. She has put a helpful hint to one of the categories on the Coolier's website. So if you want to know one of the ten categories that will be at the trivia this year, you'll have to go on check out the website. Listen, our career this week had uh, things that had happened a hundred years ago or how things, uh, what the cost of things were. It, it was very interesting. A hundred years ago, we had 144 miles of paved road in the United States. In the whole United States. Yes. And you bought your gas from a pharmacy. I don't know if you just went and asked for a bottle or what. <laughs> just give just me a don't bottle get it mixed up with anything. <laughs> well, don't that, get mixed up anything. Well, like that's that. true. I never thought about that. And also, you're going to take a trip. Yes. You're going to have a day trip to Country Music Hall of Fame. Yeah, we, we do have our Country Music Hall of Fame trip coming up. And the 18th. Patsy Cline, they still have the exhibit of Patsy Cline. And I, I don't know of anybody that listens to country music that does not think that she was one of the best. But they do have her exhibit still on display. It's, I think it's on to about right at February. So we're gonna just get in, in, in time, time for that. But that's coming up on the 18th and uh, it's a day trip. So, you know, we leave here at eight, we'll be back by 4.30, go down, see the show, um, have lunch, wander around, come back. Uh, but you can check in with us on that. But our big thing for this, um, I guess this coming summer, is the British Isles. We are actually uh, have a cruise that is going to Denmark, Norway, uh, Scotland, uh, Ireland, France, England. So Are you uh, going on that one, Con? I will probably end up going on this one. <laughs> you poor thing, I hate you. I <laughs> But uh, if you're interested in that trip, you can get a hold of us here and we can uh, mail out all of the uh, prices and insurance for those trips and everything. But we do. We try to keep things busy, working a lot on education and physical fitness. On a weekly basis at this senior center, you can go silver sneakers. Mm -hmm. That's an exercise class, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yoga, tai chi classes, bingo, line dancing, wee bowling, classes on crocheting, painting monthly, low fat express, and all kinds of special events. Yeah. And that's, that's just at our senior center. Yeah. And that was Tai Chi. Oh, okay. <laughs> what did I say? Tai Chi. That was probably food, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Our theme is going really well for today, but no Tai Chi. Uh, it's very new. Uh, Arthritis Foundation, uh, we sent some of our staff out to go do training on this. And for folks out there that are listening, they're going, what in the world are the Tai Chi, Tai Chi? They don't know what we're talking about. <laughs> but this is a practice uh, uh, for balance and strengthening the body, uh, very slow movement. So this is not gonna be your aerobics. This is not right. gonna be working with weights or anything like that. Uh, you may have seen this in some movies where they, these folks are out on the Green Parkway and yes, they're moving very slowly. You've seen that, haven't you? I don't know what movie that was, but you've seen I've it. I've seen it. <laughs> well, we're, we're actually starting a class and Tai Chi really is uh, a group of movements, right. slow movements, and you really work on balance and uh, breathing. 
Uh, but we've started the classes actually on Wednesdays here at the center. And you come in and this first six weeks, six, eight weeks, you learn, I think it's eight different moves. And then you can actually do it at home. You don't have to come and do it within the building or whatever. You can actually do those at home too. Oh. So we'll see there. We're about to run Reduce out of time. Reduce stress, increase flexibility, feel more relaxed. Be able to stand up without falling. It helps. <laughs> <laughs> and improve your mind, body, and spirit. Okay. Well, yeah. And I thought sure noodles were involved in it somewhere, but I guess not. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think so. I think you got food on the I brain know, today. I know, but every event that we've mentioned has food well, attached to it somewhere. Well, you know. It does, I know. It brings in the people. Door prizes and food. Do it every time. It does. It absolutely <laughs> does. Well, uh, let's not leave out if we've, we've forgotten anything. I know uh, the Art Center's got some musicals coming up, um, and they're definitely going to be uh, doing some auditions for 9 to 5. And so if you've got any talent at all and you want to be involved in 9 to 5, uh, that's coming up for auditions. It's January 20 and 21st right. at the Art Center. Um, let's see what else is That'll there. be, uh, the production will be eight, March 8th through the 23rd. Yeah, so you have and to And you try. also, February, you'll have Disney's The Little Mermaid. Mm -hmm. and she'll share her world with you. You've got hilarious comedies, uh, all of that. You just need to call the Arts Center at 563-2787. And when you call them, be sure and ask them about their super subscriber ticket and you can enjoy a whole year's worth of everything. That's the best, best deal going on. It really is. You, you can get a One lot One last thing, there. and then we got to go, because our cameraman's getting nervous, I can tell. Is he going down to the wire? We're going down yeah, to the wire. Yeah, he's screaming already. Okay. The Blood Bank? Blood Mobile? Right. January 17th? From noon until 6 p.m. The Lions Club building. Give the gift of life. You're right, and this time you can register to win a $1,000 gift card to a home improvement store if you go give blood. You can't just go down there and register. you got to give something, and it's going to be blood. And I think there may be some food there, too. <laughs> We're going to go back to food. Well, from the chamber here in Cannon County, we are excited that you're uh, tuning in to us, and we want to thank uh, my DTC3 for coming out and spending the time with us. And putting us on TV? Yes, I do. They, they love it. I think so. <laughs> we'll we enjoy see you it. next month. Bye, guys. <laughs>